34, and if you've been following her career, just in the last couple of years, she has had a tremendous impact on this music and in this community. She has a vision, and she continues to bring forward the very best in this business. She is also in that same category. We're talking about the producer of this event from Smooth Ahead Jazz, Miss Linda Morgan. I'm going to turn it all over to her and she'll take it from here. Linda. to everyone who has come out this evening to honor and pay homage to George Bohannon, Miss Marla Gibbs, and to Mr. Jay Rich. When I started this series last year, my mission was to educate, entertain, and inform not my living legends, because I'm really, I'm honoring and celebrating them while they're here. But the information and the education is for their children, their grandchildren, and their great-grandchildren to get involved in their legacy because they have built a legacy, and that is what you will be carrying on for them. And the thing that I want to say to the children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, we're on the Internet. We're on all the social media sites. We're on all the... Uh, Google sites, the Yahoo, you name it. Please Google, search, see what's out there on your living legend, parent, grandparent, and great-grandparent. Because what I'm finding in this business is that their legacies are being stolen before our eyes. It's being stolen before our eyes intellectually. When I say intellectually, I'm talking about on the internet. So please just do for me a favor and help me in protecting their legacy. I took on the title and the role of a jazz legacy preservationist for this very reason. It's a lot of work. I, I'm up to the task, but I need the help of the grandkids, the children, and everyone else in the community to get involved. Um, and with that, it helps keep the legacy of jazz going. Because as you will see, when you start Googling and doing searches on the internet, what you think is there is not there. And we need to put the information out there for future generations. It's very hard to acknowledge and honor our legends when you put their information out there and there's nothing to search for them on the internet. It's not that they haven't built a legacy, it's just that we have not put the information into cyber, I call it cyber hell, <laughs> because what goes in there stays in there. So if the information that's in there is not correct, then that's what is being said about them. So we have to be the keepers, the gatekeepers of the jazz community. I would love for somebody to do what I'm doing in gospel, blues, R&B, everything, hip hop. I'm only staying in jazz. <laughs> so, this, this, the type of work that I'm doing, though, needs to be done in every genre of music that we are a part of. Mm -hmm. So I applaud, I wish everyone take up the mantle and just search and help put information in the internet about the living legends that I feature every month. I, I um, Wikipedia page, anything, anything related to the internet search. These cards I circulate about five or 6,000 a month, just so that the information is out there. People will Google them, they will um, research on them. I do a, a Google alert, just so that I know how many people are searching for them once I do start doing the promotion. You will be amazed how many people search and start looking for the information on the living legends. So I would appreciate it, that's my only uh, I don't even know the word for it. Request. <laughs> yes. The domain names is one of the things that is very, very prominent. If you don't own your own domain name, somebody else owns it. And it might be me. <laughs> Seriously. 
Because I buy the domain names for the legends if they have not purchased it. I'll purchase it and transfer it to their families just so that nobody else will be able to do that. no longer with us. I own her domain name, so if there's anybody here that knows the family of Miss Abby Lincoln, please get in contact with me because I would love to relinquish her name to the family. Because it's very important that her, her music is played and heard. And I got a call from a gentleman in, D, in uh, Idaho, Iowa, wanted to buy her domain name from me and put his music up. Ooh, I said, absolutely not, and I'm glad you called the right person. <laughs> because there is no way that I would sell her domain to you for your game. Yeah. So that's the only thing I would love to leave with you. Please help in the protecting of the domain names of your living legends. Thank you. Thank you.